What do you make of that? I mean, I know uh, obviously there's been inflows into REITs too uh, as well. That that also is uh, very interesting. Yeah, I think what's also very interesting is when we dig into the REIT sector, which is roughly about 2.5% of the S&P 500, you've got a split, you know, as, as Michael was talking about the reopening side of things. So hotel and resort REITs are up 13% as of Friday. You've got uh, residential REITs that are up 8.5%. You've got retail REITs that are up 18% whereas office REITs uh, and industrial REITs are down year to date. So there's you know, a broad market cap weighted approach that Michael's firm XLRE offers. And then you've got either an equally weighted version that Invesco offers, uh, or you've got twists on this. Uh, NETL is an example of an, an ETF that focuses in subsets, the marketplace uh, that from an index based approach. And of course, we now have a new active ETF. Yeah, that's very important, I think. Uh, and, and Leighton, speaking of actively managed ETFs, you've got one. Just started trading Friday. I can't believe REIT was never taken as a symbol, but apparently you guys have it. Um, what parts of the real estate business do you think are going to deliver the best returns in, in, in 2021? Now, we obviously know the old traditional ones, the apartments, the offices, the industrial, the retail. But a lot of the business, a lot of the real movement in the last few years has been in these uh, data centers, uh, in cell towers, for example. So there's some subsectors. What, what, what's interesting to you in REITs this year? Yeah, I mean, the, the whole space after, you know, derating, um, you know, by a couple multiple points last year relative to the S&P 500, for example, that actually saw multiple expansion, um, you know, looks pretty good. And I think there are opportunities on both sides of a barbell where you can look at the mean reversion type trades that, you know, Todd was just talking about with retail and malls, um, on the value side of the equation, we do like the apartment sector. Uh, you know, we do think as we reopen the labor mobility, the normalization of what, um, you know, uh, job growth looks like, all of that's good for, uh, you know, people moving around. And apartments will thrive um, again, in our opinion.